Coogan Cassius here at the Kickstop Gym here in Norwich. With me, I've got unbeaten middleweight Billy Boy Bird. How are you, Billy? Not too bad, Coog. Yourself? Yeah, been trying to arrange an interview with you for about six months. Uh, yeah, it's been a long time, hasn't it? You I know. know. Meant to come to Sudbury the other day, but that didn't work out. But um, we're here now anyway. Yeah, you know, it's, it's good, isn't it? You know, glad you uh, made it down to the lovely Kickstop Gym. It's good to have you down here. You know, the boys and that love to have you here. So get us out there. Thank you very much. Um, now, you're fighting 30th of May at the Halls um, here in Norwich, which is a Mervyn Turner show, yeah. So, and you're headlining that show as well. Yeah, you know, it's the first uh, first big event I've got uh, to headline a show in Norwich. Uh, looking forward to it, bringing my crowd up here to uh, show, them, show them what I can deliver yet again, you know, hopefully to make it 11 and 0, you know, doing, going well so far. I see 10 fights now unbeaten. Uh, just won the British Masters, so I'm just getting myself out there now. I mean, you've got yourself, you know, you've built yourself up to a 10 and 0 record here. I mean, uh, Nathan Dow, who's unfortunately injured, he's built himself up to a 17 and 0 record. But, you know, what do you think the key is to, like I said, getting yourself recognised and getting yourself into bigger fights? Well, you know, it's, it's all about having the right boys in the gym. You know, uh, your trainer and manager, Graham, he, he delivers that. You know, he gets the right right quality of sparring down here for, for us boys, you know, like today, just done a few rounds with uh, Go Go. It's great quality sparring for, for the level that I'm at at the moment. It's, I can't ask for any better than that. Um, like I say, it's, uh, with Nathan, he's worked himself up to a, like you say, a brilliant 17 and 0 record, getting himself out there. Unfortunately, he's got uh, the injury that's uh, set him back, but that's just going to bring him back even stronger, you know. The hunger's still there for him. Um, like I say, and it's having the right boys in the gym to push each other, you know, we've got the Walshers in the gym, they're, they're a great, great bunch of boys, you know, we've got Sam Sexton and we've obviously got John Faxton, you know, who's been there and worn a t-shirt. Uh, having them boys just pushes us to the extreme that we want to go and getting ourselves out there, you know, and who knows, just, no one knows what happens tomorrow, you know, so just keep training yourself hard and just see what happens. Graham told me that Herbie Hyde pops in here from time to time, <laughs> wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of Herbie Hyde on a bad day. Nah, you know, he's, he's always made himself work, like, says hello and that to all us boys. I think he's a, he's a funny character. He, he, he does, like I say, he comes in, says hello, and then he just, he's always watching, you know, his eyes are everywhere. You, uh, I don't think I'd like to take a, a right hand off him, but like I say, uh, he's, a, he's a big old lump, definitely. Yeah. I'll take you, Herbie, if you're watching Box Station. There's a few uh, similarities there, aren't there? I don't know. Same height from that. Same height. Yeah, maybe. We'll talk about it. I'll speak I think to Graham about on the looks. I think, you, I think you're better looking than him. But. <laughs> um, just caught your six-round spa with um, Antti and Gogo. I mean, what, like you just said there, what great experience. He's former Olympian uh, back in 2012, and he's Simon of Golden Boy, and it's it's great experience for you, that is. Exactly. You know, having people like Anthony in the gym, it just makes the gym on a high, you know. Uh, me and him, we've had some quality rounds sparring, as you probably can tell, you have a little mark on the eye, but... It's people like him get me to where I am now, you know, and without people like Go Go, uh, the Walshes, everyone else, I wouldn't be in a position that I'm in, if you know what I mean, to an extent. I say the boys I'm fighting at the moment are not the level that the boys are in the gym or the boys that I spar at the moment. So, you know, me and Anthony, we have some great, great spars. I learn much, much loads of stuff off him, and I'm sure he does as well, you know. Um, he's, Anthony, he's so, he's quick, he's good. It's, I couldn't have asked for anything more, especially for this fight. Uh, preparation, it's, it's everything's gone the plan, and with having a go go in it, it's even better. Domestically, your division uh, is very good here. Um, you know, forgetting the world scene for a minute, the likes of um, Martin Murray, Macklin, obviously Billy Joe Saunders, Chris Eubank, these guys uh, are sort of the levels that you want to aspire to be to. Yeah, definitely. You know, I've, um, I was lucky enough to be training at uh, MGM gym when Billy Joe was out there for the Chris Eubank fight. Um, it was just watching him train, watching the Matthew Macklin train, it was just inspires me more, you know, seeing to what they can get to, and there's no reason to stop me that I can't get to that level, you know. Um, there, there's some great boys in this division, you know, and I truly believe if I push myself to 110%, train hard, there's no reason why I can't get to that level. All right, well, listen, Billy, listen, thanks for giving us a little bit of time. Like I said, it's great to come down. Never been to Norwich before. I don't, oh, I'm sorry, I don't know I'll come again, but I hopefully will come again. Hope so. uh, yeah, I hope so. Catch one of Mervyn's shows. Everyone's always yeah, been banging on about yeah, it. So. It's a good show. It is a good show. You know, Mervyn always puts on decent shows in Norwich. You know, it's, without him, we wouldn't be able to be where we are, you know. And like, to be fair, I wouldn't be where I am without 
like Mervyn or all my sponsors, you know, they um, they all give me a great inspiration to get me to where I am. You know, they they back me 110 percent, and Mervyn backs all us boys 110 percent. And without them guys, we wouldn't be where we are now. So yeah, it's, it's all good. All right, Billy, thanks for talking to the Cassius and Hilda show. Uh, best of luck ahead of the 30th, which is uh, in less than three weeks. And uh, like I said, hopefully we'll catch up with you soon. Yeah, lovely. Cheers, boys. All right. See you all later. Thank you very much.